Hey guys, so I started my journey in Christchurch today. Now I'm here at Auckland Airport, but this isn't where the journey ends. You see, last year thousands of New Zealanders did the 40 hour famine to help raise money for people in Malawi. And so we're going on a trip to see exactly where that money went. That's right, we're going to Malawi in Africa. Come with us. So say Malawi isn't like popping down to your local dairy. You need a few things first, like a passport, preferably with a really embarrassing photo, like that. I don't know what I was doing with my eyebrows. You also need to get vaccinations for diseases that we don't really have in New Zealand. Hurt a little bit, but I'm all safe to travel now. And all I need is my boarding passes and away we go. First up, a flight right across Australia to Perth. We were going 900 kilometres an hour, but it still took eight hours to get there. When we arrived, the smoke from a huge bushfire was blocking the setting sun, but the view was still gorgeous. Then just a simple five hour wait at the airport for my next flight. This one was 11 hours all night across the ocean. That's me sleeping under my scarf there. Next stop, sunrise in Johannesburg, South Africa. Then just another little five hour wait before getting on the last plane and flying two hours north to Blantyre in Malawi. This flight was simple compared to the others and it was pretty cool knowing that I was flying over lions and zebras and elephants and then finally I'd arrive. is known as the warm heart of Africa. The people are friendly and the gardeners are creative. Is that a satellite dish? Just like New Zealand, Malawi used to be part of the British Empire, ruled by England, but it became an independent country in 1964. It's a small country next to a big lake on the continent of Africa. Malawi has less land than the North Island of New Zealand, but loads more people, around 17 million. That's a lot of mouths to feed. Hey guys, just doing a little bit of shopping with Dominica from World Vision New Zealand. She's helped organise this whole trip. Now I'm loving Malawi so far, but what are we going to be doing across the week? So last year Kiwis raised $2.1 million through the 40 hour famine for Malawi. Uh, and that money was spread out across a bunch of projects. So we're going to be visiting health centres, schools and villages. Very good, looking forward to it, but right now I feel like we have to shop. Yes. Like, yes. These bags are too good. All the boys are sitting at home rolling their eyes, but how gorgeous are these? And they're reversible. I just want to take them all home. Malawi is diverse. There are places like this, places like this, and lots of places like this. Many people live in houses made of mud bricks. There are no power points for electricity, no plumbing for water, and you can forget about Wi-Fi. Some people have cars, many have bikes, but most people walk everywhere they need to go. If they've got something heavy to carry, they just put it on their head. And this is the beautiful Lake Malawi, also known as the Calendar Lake because it's 365 miles long, like days in the year, by 52 miles wide, like weeks in the year. It's the third largest lake in Africa. Don't ask me about the other two, just enjoy the view. The sun's going down here in Malawi and I'm pretty naked but I'm looking forward to tomorrow and the rest of the week where we get to see all the amazing work that the 40R famine has done here. I will see you then but right now I'm going to get some dinner and go to bed. Hey, please hurry up and subscribe. Click, click the subscribe button. No, Eva, you even pushing. No. Why is it so big? Oh, keep pushing. Just click subscribe. Otherwise, we're going to be here the whole time. Oh,